Hi guys, so today I'm going to be talking about the paired associate technique, which was invented by Mary Wenton Calkins in 1894. I'm going to start by just saying the definition for anyone who doesn't know. The paired associate learning is the learning of syllables, digits, or words in pairs so that one member of the pair evokes recall of the other. So this usually involves the pairing of two items, usually words, a stimulus and a response. The first is the learning of the response. The second is the formation of a bond between the two words. So I'm going to give a little example. So to start, we're going to use the words blue and sky. Blue would be the stimulus and sky would be the response. So they may be paired together. And when the learner is prompted with the stimulus, he should respond with the, appropri the appropriate word. So the study of PA learning has been important for a number of reasons. Psychologists view it as a representative of the kind of learning that people engage in every day. For example, when learning a new word, a person must pair the word itself with the concept it represents. Also, the stimulus-response approach has lost some of its importance in contemporary psychology, so they have been interested in how stimulus-response links are formed and broken.